Hey guys, welcome to Happy Coding for Everyone channel. Let's start from where we left in our previous tutorial. Let's have a look at form check. Let me put a HR again. I need to create a div with class name form check. Let me add an input with class name form check input. And type also must be checkbox too. And let's add a label with class name form check label. Default checkbox. Let's save it and have a look at it. See, guys, this is our default checkbox. Let me create another div here to create an extra space to scroll up our checkbox. File, margin tab, I found the pixel. Let's save it and have a look at it. See guys, I just created a margin tab for that div and created the space for you. Let's have a look at another example. I need to copy that one and put HR and paste it. I just need to add another thing here, checked. It means checkbox already checked when you load the page. Let's save it and have a look at it. You see guys, like this. You don't need to click it. Let's have a look at radio check. Let me create another HR and and I just need to change the type of input. So let me copy the, that one, both of them. We just need to change type radio. And let me copy that one and change that one too. You know, guys, check value also usable for radio too. And let's check that text too. Let's save it and have a look at it. You see guys, this is default value. Uh, this is already checked radio. Let's have a look at multiple inputs. I need to create the with input group class name. Let's assign a span first and last name. Let's assign our class for span input group text. And let's add our input class name form control. And let me copy paste one more time. We can also add a placeholder too. First name and placeholder last name. Let's save it and have a look at it. You see guys, you can use input like this too. Let's have a look at multiple add-ons. We need another with input group class name. And let's add margin button 3. And we need to add two span with class name input group text. Let's add a dollar sign. And let me copy that one and paste one more time. And let's create input lastly class name form control and let's add a placeholder to dollar amount let's save it and have a look at it you see guys you can use spans and input area like this too you can change position of span and input for example copy that one
Just cut the input from here and add here. Save it and let's have a look at it. With you guys, we can use like this too. Next, we will have a look at custom file input. I need to create another div with input group, class name. Let me add a margin value to. I need a label and input. Upload and class name input group text. And let's add our input. Type must be file and class must be form control. Let's save it and have a look at it. You can use file uploading like this too. Or as we did before, you can change position of input and label. For example, Just cut that input and paste here, save it, and let's have a look at it like this. As I said before, we will use all of those things in our future projects. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching it. See you in the next video.